honorable ministers of the government of india shri manoj sinha ji shri ravi shankar prasad ji shri hardeep singh puri ji titans of the telecom industry shri mukesh ambani ji shri sunil bhati mittal ji aditya kumar mangalam birla ji vivek badrinath ji president of samsung young ki kim key sponsor excellencies and ministers from our neighboring countries and friends distinguished ceos from the telecom and it fraternity senior government officers startups invited guests dignitaries friends from the media ladies and gentlemen namaste on behalf of the government of india i extend a very warm welcome to all of you to this three day international conference and exhibition the india mobile congress 2018 organized by the department of telecommunications along with the cellular operators association of india and other stakeholders the largest event of its kind in south and southeast asia in telecommunications i welcome the honorable ministers and delegations from asean and bimstek member states to the india mobile congress 2018 i am delighted to note that the dedicated asean and bimstek ministerial session focusing on enhancing india's digital linkages with its immediate and extended neighborhood is being held here today it speaks of how our cooperation has moved into a new digital era and of our joint commitment to build a better future together on the backbone of technology i am thankful for the presence of excellencies from asean from bimstek from uk the eu from the usa with honorable ministers from cambodia myanmar nepal and laos the large presence of dignitaries from embassies is testimony to the significance of our partnership in this event india's relations to the asean and bimstek regions extend back to several millennia we were connected through land and maritime routes that remain alive till date today these linkages extend to the digital domain as well india is working closely with these countries to develop digital villages which would help provide connectivity and access to services such as tele medicine tele education e governance and commerce i am particularly delighted to welcome our chief guests the honorable minister for communications shri manoj sinha who has been spearheading the india mobile congress uh, event our minister shri ravi shankar prasad who has been leading the digital india vision shri hardeep singh puri ji who is leading our urban development sector in the country i am also happy to end uh, especially happy that all the lawyers of the telecom industry are with here with us on stage our principal sponsor samsung all our partner countries state governments telecom ceos global oems infrastructure providers psu chiefs regulators from across the globe academia international organizations startups media and guests as the world moves into an increasingly digital age and mobile technologies come to play an ever more central role in that transformation 
Countries the world over have much at stake in mobile technologies and the ways in which they are impacting our lives. In a world where we have gone in a very short span of time, from the internet of persons to the internet of things, to the internet of everything, to a point where we are today unlocked in an ubiquitous fabric of connectivity, our shared future is more than ever contingent on how efficiently we create integrated value chains, whether it be services, commerce, manufacturing, innovation or knowledge. The India Mobile Congress is first and foremost an endeavor to forge and establish such a unique platform in this part of the world, in Southeast Asia, where we can share best practices, learn from and partner with each other. In the last few years, India has made pioneering advances in telecommunications and digital infrastructure. In the rollout of the most affordable digital identity in the world, mobile connectivity to all, devices and services affordable for a billion people. India would be happy to share these learnings, but equally it is open to learning from our partners across the world who have made many of these pioneering platforms possible. It is our hope that INC will emerge as a unique opportunity for us to co-create, to collaborate, share and pool our collective capabilities to be able to bring digital benefits to one third of the planet, which is where our subcontinent and our neighboring regions lie. This is also the region that arguably needs digital technologies most. Four years ago, the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, had unveiled a vision of a connected and empowered digital India, where digital technologies were to be harnessed, not only for delivering next generation services to citizens, but more importantly, to unleash the capabilities and potential of our citizens, enterprises and business. The first pillar of this vision was broadband as a utility. The Digital India vision was also a pioneer in that it recognized digital infrastructure, digital platforms and data as the central building blocks of our increasingly digital lives. As a result of this vision, India has today emerged as one of the fastest growing digital societies whether measured in terms of mobile data consumption, where we are number one in the world, citizens and enterprises using social media platforms, or social interaction, digital delivery, digital banking, and other services. This digital revolution has also triggered a fundamental reorientation in governance by enhancing transparency and efficiency. This vision is now being further deepened with the government in the final stages of crafting a strategy to achieve a $1 trillion digital economy over the next five years. Consequent to unveiling of the Digital India vision, India has in the last four years undertaken unprecedented reforms and initiatives to expand digital infrastructure, to enable ease of doing business, to promote Make in India and Startup India, and above all, to bring digital technologies to the ordinary citizens. Key reforms that have been undertaken are universalization of digital access through mobiles and other, doubling of telecom infrastructure both optic fiber cable and BTSs, doubling of the common service centers which deliver services to grassroots citizens, 
declaring a uniform rights of way policy for telecom infrastructure and unprecedented delicensing of spectrum from 50 megahertz to 650 megahertz for facilitating Wi-Fi access. Adoption of a unique public data office framework to facilitate seamless Wi-Fi roaming. Removal of cascading taxes for VNOs. In fact, this was signed just yesterday into a notification by the Minister. Doubling the utilization of universal service funds for bringing broadband to the masses. These reforms have yielded transformative results thanks to the policies, proactive policies of the government. However, I must at this juncture acknowledge the outstanding role of India's telecom visionaries present here on stage, whose entrepreneurial vision and genius has taken digital access from 30 million in 2000 to 1.18 billion in 2018. Data tariffs in India are the lowest. The growth of data is over 2,000 percent in the last year. I am also extremely happy to extend a very warm welcome to our guest of honor, Sri Suresh Prabhuji, who has joined us on this occasion. This explosion in digital access has also yielded broader spin-offs to society, ranging from small businesses leveraging platforms, digital platforms for greater outreach, IoT-based startups which are beginning to deliver smart agriculture to farmers. Platforms like Ina, where farmers can buy and sell online. And the rise of the sharing economy and livelihood opportunities like Wi-Fi chowbars. The National Digital Communications Policy 2018, approved by the Union Cabinet a month ago, now aims to leverage the strong foundation already laid to build the next generation growth and service platforms on top of it. The objectives of NDCP resonate with the themes of this conference, which are connect, create and innovate. The policy seeks to connect a billion Indians to propel India to a digital leadership position and to secure India in terms of providing a safe and trusted environment for digital uh, dividends. While much of the agenda has been achieved, we are uh, cognizant that much remains to be done. Rationalizing levies on the sector, reducing the compliance burden, making available spectrum bands at the right price, facilitating future investments, unlocking innovation, creating a robust IPR regime, removing manufacturing disabilities that remain. We in the government are committed to carrying these forward. Today we are also on the threshold of arguably what promises to be the most exciting transition yet to come. 5G, of which we hope to provide you brief glimpses in the next few minutes. Already in 5G, we have begun to flesh out a roadmap chair. We have a task force chaired by Professor Paul Raj. For the first time in the country, we have three key departments. The Department of Digital Communications, IT and DST, science technology, coming together with all the IITs and the Indian Institute of Science to forge a common strategy for harnessing 5G. We believe that 5G is an ecosystem and not a mere technology enhancement. It is estimated that India would require about 100 billion of investments in the coming years 
in order to achieve the objective of connectivity for all by 2022, for which we are working to put in place a facilitating policy environment. Central to this effort would be a robust partnership between the government, telcos, academia, state governments, local bodies, and the larger industry in general. India is not only amongst the fastest growing major economies in the world, we are also the fastest growing telecom market in the world. Our future growth prospects in this sector, we believe, are second to none. The IMC aims to provide a platform for all our stakeholders and partners to come together and work with us to chart the future road map and make it a reality. This iconic three-day conference event will comprise of an international conference, a vibrant startup program, the ASEAN Vincent Ministerial Conclave, 5G live demos, and the digital showcase featuring future technologies including IoT, smart cities, smart vehicles, virtual reality, robotics, and others. A special focus is being accorded to startups through a dedicated engagement initiative. I am happy to be part of the second edition of IMC Week this year with the theme Connect, Create and Innovate that not only resonates well with the industry but in a sense captures what this industry is famous for, the mobile industry like none other has helped bring the world together to connect, to create and innovate. I trust this meet to provide an opportunity for all stakeholders involved to showcase their products, services, capabilities and ideas, not just to India, but to the world. A very warm welcome to IMC's.